Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Jessica. I am the programming manager for the Palm Springs International Film Society. I am joined by Gisley, the writer director of Yes People, which has been shortlisted for the Oscars in the Best Animated Short Film category. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Glad to be here. We're so happy to have you. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so our audience just watched your film. So let's get started. Um, I just wanted to, I wanted to start with um, your background actually, and how you um, found your way to becoming a filmmaker. Oh yeah. Well, I really took a roundabout way. Um, I basically did um, business in business school. I, I did a diploma in Iceland and uh, doing being a filmmaker especially an animator wasn't really a thing when i was it was late 90s so uh but a very peculiar thing happened i did a short film for the last year of that uh of the sort of the social uh yeah it was like a short film contest for the business school and uh, I, it was just something i i just wanted to kind of participate in the social life and uh, i hadn't done so much of that was sort of like a, 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 what do you call it? A wall, just a fly on the wall, mostly in college. And that film won, and then it just kind of, a lot of luck. Uh, there was some guy who owned an um, internet business who, who was dating a girl in the school, and he was, he was at the contest, and he invited me to work for his company to do like animated banners. And then cut to 10 years later, I've, 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 I was uh, graduated from um, the Irish School of Animation with a BA in animation and had worked for some uh, animated studios, like commercial studios and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, and then, uh, I mean, to be honest, after I won that first award, I was really keen on making stories. So I had been, I have been doing, um, films every now and then, but with very little means and resources. And this film, Yes People, is the first time really where I got the resources to really focus on the thing and not feel so ashamed of the <laughs> end product, you know. Well, it's such a wonderful film. Um, and so I'm curious, you know, you have 10 years then of storytelling under your experience and, and pull, pulling it together. How did, where did the idea for this film come from? And um, it was a really odd process because I uh, I felt like there was a lot of ideas uh, floating about that I was kind of obsessed with. And I knew I needed, if I wanted to do a film, like an animated film, I knew it was going to take a long time. So I, I really focused on my sort of obsessions at the time, which was uh, habits, creating a good life. And uh, my grandparents died. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit obsessed with languages as well. I, actually, I did language stream in business school. And so the, in the beginning, they, it's, it felt like a little bit like I was like herding sheep and they, they didn't seem to belong to the same farm, but I knew they did. And uh, so writing the film, I just felt like a kind of a sheep herder. <laughs> <laughs> I knew they belonged together, but it was took a while to bring them. Yeah, and it's so interesting. That's like a way of describing it. <laughs> <laughs> and I love how, um, I, I've, I've watched some of your other interviews where you talk about how like the word, yes, it means so so many different things. Um, <laughs> the, um, and it depends more on like the inflection of the, the person saying it. Um, I think that's such an interesting approach to it. How did the film change over time? Um, did it, did it change, did you, where did, I guess, where did the project start and how has it changed? Um, um, yeah, like I said, when I was combining these, I think there, there was definitely a moment where I had the yes thing going on. And at some stage I was really um, pessimistic about the idea of just, it felt like it was gonna be like an ad campaign or something, the way it was set up for the in, in the beginning. And it didn't have any soul or it was just kind of a random, random shots of people saying yes. 
And uh, when I had gotten rid of that version, um, th that was a big turning point for me because I there's a lot of my grandparents in this. I, there's a lot of things kind of buried, I think. <laughs> Just my admiration for how people manage to stay together for a really long time. And uh, yeah, so it did turn into a very personal project, but I, I think it has a very thick layer of, of that, of sort of comedy and uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, I understand there's the personal meaning to the, to the set, like the backgrounds as well. Yeah, so <laughs> my dad, um, well, my parents, but mostly my dad had been taking a lot of photographs in the 70s, especially. And he started scanning them in in early 2000. And he has something like 80,000 photographs scanned in or something. And I just became really fascinated with them because there was a lot of empty spaces. And uh, I, I remember at the same time, I was thinking about a way to make a film in, 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 uh, in, a, in a middle or a lightweight budget, like Iceland. What, what does an Icelandic animated film look like? Because we don't have the same budgets uh, or the same resources as let's say the big studios or, you know, or countries with huge film funds where they, so that, that it was a kind of a practical, and, but also a, a very obsessive idea to combine his photographs, use them as backgrounds. And it, it just became very natural because the story kind of is about very expressive characters stuck in this mundane world. And it just felt right to put these cartoon characters in this, in this land. In the, they're not boring photographs, but, but it's reality kind of thing. And uh, so, yeah, well, that answers the question. Yeah, yeah. Um, speaking of the characters, you, they're, they're so, there's such a variety. Um, what was it like coming up with each of their personalities? Oh, I, I have been a long time observer of people. And uh, that was probably one of the most enjoyable parts. They have a very grand backstory. And uh, I, know, I know why they're unhappy and I know why they are happy and all that. So it was very, uh, it was a very enjoyable part of the process to write the characters. Um, and it, it really, it was, I was really rewarded during the production because I almost, they, they just told me what to do almost. There was one instance where I kind of misunderstood the old lady in the red story. Uh, it was a very subtle uh, misunderstanding, but I basically had to reanimate the first shot of them together during breakfast because I had gotten her wrong. I had been, been seduced a little bit by a joke and then got rid of it and did it again and I, I was but other, other other than that that was really fluid nice. um speaking of animating um what was uh what was your approach to animation i see you had a couple of other um animators on the project with you how long did it take um so yeah just a general <laughs> yeah um, I think I can't tell you how long it took. I had a baby in the middle of the production and um, there was, you know, it was a bit of start stop. Um, and, but we did have 12 seconds a week approach. I kind of wanted to put um, most of the budget into animate, animation and having the photograph really helped kind of focus on the animation. And I, I, I kind of just, I, I believe that, uh, you know, if you have characters that are alive enough, you don't need a fancy texture or, uh, I, I, I omitted a lot of sort of very classic production elements uh, in favor of animation. 
Uh, did I answer your question? What was it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was curious too, for people who aren't super familiar with animation, is 12 seconds a week? Like, what is that? It's um, what's that it's, um, like? <laughs> yeah, it's a decent amount. It's very common during European film production, uh, like feature films. Um, I think Pixar and Disney do about four to six. I might be wrong. Seconds a week. But um, yeah, 12, 12 is, I think, is decent to get a decent, you know, quality from it. You don't have a lot of, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have been able to um, reanimate a lot of shots with that frame rate though, with that quota. Yeah. Um, so you, you talked about the, the woman in red um, and, and going back, it was that the only time that you went back and, um, to redo an animation that had already yeah. been done? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, uh, it was the most enjoyable part of the whole process is to animate those characters, yeah. Um, so, what is, so I now want to transition a little bit to what it's like being shortlisted in, um, in general for having this be your first like, you know, film with the budget, what is it, um, what does it feel like? <laughs> it's, um, I, I can't lie, I was really floating on cloud nine for a long time. <laughs> and I wasn't, uh, this is so cliched, I really, really wasn't expecting it at all. Um, so it was really shocking. Um, but it, yeah, but it, it's great, it's like a huge, recognition and um, yeah I don't know what <laughs> it's it's that uh, yeah hmm, don't know but I had gotten into Annecy and P Palm Springs and those are like the, the biggest festivals that I got into that year I I'd say and that was already a huge thing for me that was already like yeah that was worth it making that film it, it like got into those huge platforms and then um the Oscar was just like, what? It's like it's like getting cake and and another cake after. No, wait. If you have cake, then you don't want another cake. It's like having cake and then having a, a nice shot of tasty wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Well. Uh, thank you so much, Geesley, for being with us. Um, I congratulations on being shortlisted for the Oscars. We wish you the best and hope to um, to see you on the final list. And yeah, um, thank you again so much for joining us. Thank you so much. I really, really enjoyed being um, um, a part of the Palm Springs Festival. And I, I loved all the online stuff. I know you had to do it in uh, a really short time. It was great. It was a really standout festival for me last year. So thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We definitely enjoyed having you and Yes People uh, at the festival as well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.